red and stop at green? Of course, if you're eating a watermelon. God. Hey guys, this is Magician Joe and welcome to my first review on this channel. Today I'm going to review for you the watermelon playing cards. The watermelon playing cards were created by Flamingo as the second deck after the Burger deck. Let's take a closer look on the cards. The back of the cards is a typical watermelon pattern and the front of the cards is completely custom. So every suit, everything is custom in this deck, which you can see here, you can see the four different suits, like the symbols at first. The indices as well are a bit different from the standard ones. The deck comes with three jokers, which is really special. And the jokers feature honeydew and cantaloupe melons, as you can see here. Next to the joker, you get a duplicate jack of spades which you can see right over here. These are not completely identical, but you can, I think, do just some really cool stuff with these two types of melons. The rest of the cards is, as I said, completely custom, so every card is custom. Yeah, the aces are as well completely custom. And now I'm going to tell you some general information about the watermelon cards. They were released on Kickstarter on March 2018 and were successfully founded. They were printed by Carter Mundi on a black core stock with a B9 Superflux finish, which you can feel right away if it's just so soft. And the cards are really snappy, so really good for card magic and cardistry. And the pips show the different parts of a watermelon. Yeah, that was my quick review on the watermelon playing cards. I hope you liked it. And in my opinion, these cards are just beautiful because food is always cool. And on playing cards, it's just a very cool idea in my opinion. And I think they are in almost every store sold out, but maybe 50 to 1 is, has some left in the storage so you can look it up if you want and I highly recommend you to buy some of them because they just feel amazing. Okay guys, welcome to the tutorial section. Now I'm going to explain you the Hof Sensor Spread Card. Let's do it with a selection face up in the middle of the deck, for example the Nine of Diamonds. Push it in. I'm going to show you the card one last time see it right here and I spread the rest as well and in the action of spreading the rest of the cards I already controlled the nine of diamonds to the bottom. Let's take a quick overview how it works. You have a card in the middle, a selection, you spread to the card and with your middle finger and ring finger you um, drag the card to the side under the spread, spread the rest of the cards so that the selection goes straight to the bottom. And now let's go a bit, little bit more in depth to show you some um, important subtleties that you can use to make the cull even more natural. At first I would suggest you um, spread not that fast, a little bit slowly with rhythms so it won't look um, unnatural if you spread fast. Then you search for the selections, spread slow and then spread fast once again. This looks just terrible. So you spread slowly. And if you see the card here on the right side in my case, I'm going to contact with my thumb the card above the selection, which is in this case here, the five of spades. And I'm going to contact it right in this area here so that I have more control over the card, over the selection. And um, if I won't contact, something like this would happen and I can't control the card. So it is really important to contact the card above the selection. You contact it here with the thumb and under the spread, you just drag the selection with the middle and ring finger under the spread like this and now it just disappeared and you can spread more but and all the cards would go above the selection and the card 
you want to control goes straight to the bottom. It would seem a little bit obvious if you spread and cut the card directly if the spectator is burning your hands so that the card is just vanishing and spectator would notice something because it just vanishes in the spread. So in this case I can give you the tip that you time it with the rhythm you spread so you spread like this and you close it to here but still have your two fingers under the spread contacting the card so you can drag it here and the spectator would think the card is still here on this pile of cards so that he thinks the card is still in the middle. One more point I think which is really important is if you are doing this control right in front of their eye level you can maybe um, flash this corner right here which happens often to me but um, in this case you just need to tilt the cards a little bit more down so you can flash the front of the cards and the card could go straight to the bottom. One other way to cover it is with your body movement you can simply spread the cards, show the spectator here, your selection is here and now you turn to the, to the in my case, the right, I think it would be your left if you're right-handed and in the action of turning your body you're calling the card and in this angle the spectator as well can't see anything So guys, this was it for the video. I hope you liked it. I really appreciate that you watched it to the end. Make sure to comment, like and subscribe if you don't want to miss any other videos from this channel. And also make sure to check out the website 52wonders.com. It's a brilliant playing card shop and I hope I see you soon.